I'm addicted to the scriptures. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I say your prayer every morning when I wake up. It's a blessing knowing I'm a child of Jacob. I got a problem that I need to take care of. Shalom, shalom, Israel. I want to say, uh, give all honor and glory to you. How about Shema Mashiach? Go Malak Yahusha. Ka Hala, you how about Shema Yahusha Barakta? 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 All right, we out here doing the two work of the Lord, doing the two works. All right, the Israelites. All right, um, God's chosen people. All right, we're spreading the word out here on um, Greenville downtown. Um, hopefully. People are, uh, our people is edified, Israel. All right, inshallah, one. Kanye Sharala. How you doing, brother? You got a second, brother? You got a second? What's up, brother? What's up, man? Jesus. You think that's Jesus? I mean, the, the, the image, they, they should say that it's Jesus. Yeah, they image, they should say that it's Jesus, all right? The reason like I don't want them, horns on it, because it's the deceiving image of Christ. All right, Christ didn't look anything like that, all right? Oh, yeah. And I want to show you, according to the Bible, what Christ looked like, all right? This is Revelations. How are you doing? Check, how are Revelations 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Are you so, live streaming Oh, uh, yeah, you can get on this side of it. Go for a call. But uh, his head and his hair were white and wool. Yeah. Right? And it's not being live streamed, it's just a. Uh, um, so, is that. You ever seen sheep before? Yeah. Alright, uh, is that woolly hair right there? Where can I catch your video? Um, I'm on YouTube, uh, uh, Flame and Fire of Israel. Flaming Fire of Israel? Yeah, Hebrew Israelites. Look it's all on YouTube. So, this is like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. So, you see, it's not woolly hair, is it? No. Like his cheek is more like your hair. Right? Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna keep reading. Right? It's white and snow and his eyes are playing the fire. And his feet like a tapine brass. So his feet so and his feet like a tapine brass. So what color is fire and brass? Like gold Like a golden brown. You yeah. right, you right. His feet like a tapine brass as if they burn in the furnace. So his feet was like a fine brass, as if they burn in the furnace. Okay. So you take that fine brass and then burn it in the furnace, what color is it? Black? Black, right? Yeah. So who is that man? White. He's a white man, right? Yeah. Who's, uh, what's your nationality? Haitian. Haitian, oh. You're a priest, man. All right, uh, this, um, right here, you come from the tribe of Levi, according to the Bible. Oh, Most yeah. I has 12 Asian. chosen. He has 12 chosen sea lions, right? Yeah. But they all come from the Israelites, okay. right? Um, your, your, uh, your nation of uh, uh, people would be the priests, right? Uh, a special people, right? Uh, a high priest, right? Um, all you Haitian brothers, they're all Israelites, right? Yeah. They're all God's chosen people. You probably heard something like that. Yeah, I heard. And, and, and hey, this is going deep into it, right? It's like you deep, but right? you just chosen people, all right? So you probably just heard that, uh, uh, everyone's the same, right? That everyone's equal, right? Everyone's not equal, according to the Bible. As I was telling you, you are that chosen people, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. What does holy mean? Uh, holy is like clean. Yeah, I can, I can see how you would get that. Uh, but the word holy by itself means separate, all right? Like you just, the actual definition of holy is separate, all right? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So you're a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So everyone's not you. All right? And I'm going to show you. Why is that? that uh, because you're that chosen to see one. All right? You probably heard Christ came for everyone, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, 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 and uh, John. 16. Right, right, right. I'm gonna explain that to you, all right? Because a lot of people they do that and they don't understand the Bible. All right, I'm finna, I'm up before I go to John 3:16. I'm finna show you who Christ came from. All right. This is um Matthew. 
chapter 15, verse 24. All right. Um, this is what Christ said. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ said, I am not sent for anyone else except for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. Which is going 12 tribes that I'm speaking to you. Now you said something, you said something that a lot of people say, John 3 16. All right. So God so loved the world. All right. So I'm going to break that down to you. Because a lot of people, they don't understand that this book was translated multiple times. All right. Um, this book comes from Hebrew and the Greek. All right. So you have to understand in Greek, the word world means a society of people. All right. Um, the word world means cosmos. All right. Uh, another word for societies of people. All right. Different sections of people. All right. That's why you heard of sea world, um, underworld. It, it's mean a society. All right. But I'm going to show you that the Most High made many worlds. All right. He made many societies of people. And in John 3 16, he's talking about a specific world. All right. So we're going to go to John 3 16. We're going to bring it up. This is John chapter 3. John chapter 3, verse 16. All right. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So we're going to go and I'm going to show you that the Most High made multiple worlds. He made multiple, multiple societies of people. And in John 3 16, he's talking about a specific society of people. So we're going to go to um, Hebrews 1 and 1. All right. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed here of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. For the S right there, you see that? He, by whom also he made the worlds. For the S. All right. So if the Most High... Uh, made multiple worlds in John 3 16 we must be talking about a specific world right a specific society all right I'm gonna show you that. this is um Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17 but Israel shall be saved in the Lord so the most I says Israel is gonna be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation he shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end so that's the world in John 3, 16 that the Most High is talking about. Really? All right? He's talking about that specific world because he made worlds. He, and in John 3, 16, he's talking about a specific world. Now, you might be like, who is that whosoever, right? Because if you say whosoever, that means anyone, right? We're going go to we're gonna break it down. We're going to go to Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. Acts chapter 2 and verse 21. And it shall come to pass... That whosoever, so this is the whosoever that we're talking about, shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear the word, hear these words, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So, and, uh, and, uh, uh, when you say the whosoever, that's the whosoever that he's talking about. He's talking about ye men of Israel. The Israelites, all right? But you're going to find out that the Most High never dealt with anybody except our people. And I'm going to show it to you. Um, this is Romans chapter 9 and verse 3. All right? Um, this is Paul talking. All right? For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. So he said he could have wished what, uh, what a curse from Christ he means. He, he, he said he could have wished that he went through what Christ went through for his brethren, his uh, kinsmen according to the flesh. Not just believing, but he said his flesh. All right. Um, who are Israelites, to whom pertain to the adoption. Israelites are the only ones that can be adopted in, grafted in. All right. Um, in the glory. All right. Which is the kingdom. All right. In the covenants, the new and the old covenant was both given to the Israelites. All right. In the giving of the law, the laws was only given to the Israelites. All right. So let me put it. If I gave you, you know, a the Ten Commandments. Yeah. The, uh, but it's more than Ten Commandments. It's 613 of them. But all of them was given to our people. It wasn't given to the whole world. All right. In the covenants, in the giving of the law. Now, listen to this. You got to key in on this. In the service of God, in the promises. So Israelites are the only ones that can have the service of God out of the Bible. All right. Who are the fathers, actual fathers, the actual semen that produced a child, another child. And of whom concerning the flesh, the actual flesh, 
All right. Christ came, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. So, uh, who concerning the flesh Christ came for? I told you in Matthew 15, 24, that Christ said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And right here, he said, whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh Christ came. All right. Now, you might be like, okay, if we knowing this, why has this been portrayed as um this man the whole time? Why has this man been the image of Christianity? All right. And I'm going to show you that. All right. This is uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. Alright. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the most I says the earth. Notice he's using earth in this term. He ain't saying the world. He's making you sure you know the earth. He says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked people run this world, run this society. Alright? Um he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if it not where and who is he. So they covered all the faces of the judges thereof. They covered the face of Christ. They covered the faces of the apostles. They covered the faces of all these people because they didn't know what, they didn't want you to know what they really looked like, man. All right? So the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and they covered the faces of the judges. If you go watch a movie about Jesus, what color is Jesus going to be? What, what color are the apostles going to be? Right. What color the uh, people all around the area gonna be? Yes, what, they gonna be white. Yes, and what? Yes, exactly. And it makes no sense. Uh, going if you look into the area, there's no white people around that area, man. There's no way. You can't. Um, they can't even go out on in the sun without uh, sunburn with cream to put on their skin. So how could you have? You know how hot it is in Israel. You know how hot it is in those areas. There's no way that they lived in those areas during that time. All right, and they'll tell you it's Middle Eastern. And Christ was a Middle Eastern man. All right, and what I always tell them is, is the same people here today, are they the same people that was here 2,000 years ago? In America. The same people in America today, are they the same people that were here 2,000 years ago? The Indians? Exactly. The natives were here, right? So, and it was only them. So, for them to say that um, Christ is Middle Eastern, and he comes from that uh, area. For them to say those are the same people that were there 2,000 years ago, that's that's not a that's not a statement that's backed up by anything else except for them thinking it. All right, because they want Christ to be anything but look like us. All right, when I told you he, what he actually looks like, man. All right, he's got feet like burnt brass. All right, and he came out the tribe of Judah. All right, let me read this to you. Um, he came out the tribe of Judah. Judah, and that's that's my tribe. Uh, the uh, the uh, the Judites. Right? So-called American blacks. All right, you come from so-called Haitians. You, y'all were the high priests of the Lord, man. Y'all knew these scriptures more than anybody. All right, but that's in our forefathers, man. So we have to come back to what we, to where we came from. Now I'm finna read you these curses, man. All right, I'm finna show you. you heard that, of Deuteronomy? Yeah, Deuteronomy. You, you heard of them before? All right. So these curses only apply to our people. All right. The curses of the Israelites in the Bible only apply to our people. All right. This is Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments in his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, All these curses are going to come upon us and overtake us. All right? Because we refuse to listen to the word of God. We refuse to actually hearken to the law, statutes, commandments that was put before our people. All right? So this is what happened to us. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses are going to be upon our seed forever. Once you hear these curses, it's going to be a sign. You're going to know who the true Israelites are. All right, in the Bible. All right. Um, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord, God, Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he destroyed thee. So, if you want to go get some clothes, if you want to go get some food, if you want to go get something to drink, what, what nationality of people you got to go to? So, but Christ didn't come to condemn us in all, all we have done, I mean. Yeah, he, he, he came to give us grace. That grace that you hear of yeah. is only for our people. All right? Christ to be among you saints. All right, I'm gonna read that for you. So, uh, um, well, what about the rest of the world? 
What about the rest of the world? I mean, God, people. That's what we get a lot. We all, we all. From right. one descendant, that's right. uh, Adam and Eve, that right, right, right. people. We're going to get that. We're going to see what the Lord thinks. <laughs> this, and this, and the, you're right. That's what everyone says, right? Yeah. But you got to keep in mind that the Lord doesn't think like humans. Man. I know right. he said, I thought it's hard. My thoughts are hard again. Thoughts my exactly. ways are hard again. Exactly. Way. So this is 2nd Edris, chapter 6, and verse 54. All right. So you familiar with the Apocrypha? Uh, I think so. All right. Well, this is in the King James Bible. All right. In 1611, they took out 14 books out of the Bible. All right, the Catholic Church took out 14 books because it spoke. It spoke too much about end times. It spoke too much about us and who we were. All right, these books. When you get the Bible, the Bible comes from three texts. All right, it comes from the Masoretic text, it comes from the Greek Septuagint, and it comes from the Dead Sea Scrolls. All right, so the Greek Septuagint included these books. All right. But the Catholic Church then took these books out, all right, for a certain reason because it speaks too much about us and about the the the, the end times, all right. So I'm gonna read this Why to you. Why would they take it out? Exactly, they because they're not speaking the truth. They don't want us to know who we are, all right. They took crafty counsel. Again, I'm gonna get that for you too. They took crafty counsel, crafty counsel uh, uh, for us. The people that rule this world, they know who we are, all right. They took a crafty uh, counsel. I'm gonna read that for you. Before I get this and show you, because you said something true. You said we all come from Adam. So I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get this for you, too. All right, this is Psalms, chapter 83. Psalms, chapter 83. All right, verse uh, 2. This is Psalms, chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make uh, uh, thy enemies make a tumult. And they and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consorted against thy hidden ones. They took a crafty counsel against us, all right, to, to hide us because we're the hidden ones, all right. Um, they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." So they have said, "Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, a people." So the name of Israel shall be no more in remembrance. All right. So do away with Israel. Do away with Israel. They don't want us to know who we are. But listen to this: for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against us. These people who rule this world, all these different nations, they are confederate against us because we're God's chosen people, and they know it. They read these scriptures. They know what we are. All right. These scriptures only apply to one group of people and none other. All right. Um, the tabernacles of Edom, the Ishmaelites. So Edom is a so-called white man today. All right, that's what they're, they're not. You won't find the word white in the scripture. You won't find black. The actual people they descend from is Edom, the Edomites. All right, that's their nation in this Bible. That's the, uh, the white people. Yes, that's the so-called white man. The tabernacles. The they were called Edomites. They were called Edomites. Yeah, Edomites. from the truck from Edom. All right, and I'm gonna read you that story too. In the Ishmaelites. So those are the so-called Arabs. All right. So they've took a crafty counsel against us too. All right, it's, you can look up, you can ask an Arab where they descend from. They'll tell you Ishmael. They know where they descend from. All right, they're Ishmaelites. All right. And Amal. So they're uh, not one of God's chosen people. No, and I'm gonna read that to you. This, that's why I had to get this to you. All right, this is Second Ezra, chapter six, and verse fifty-four. All right, because you said something true, man. You said Adam. We all come from Adam. So why would God, the Most High, create all these people and only deal with us? All right, but so listen to this. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these things, Adam, also whom thou madest the Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam made all the creatures' names of him. All right, he, he's the one who named the creatures, named these animals. All right, uh, of him come we all. So like you said, we all come from Adam, right? Of him come we all, all right? And the people also whom thou hast chosen, and the people also who he has chosen. All right, and that uh, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the most I made this whole whole world for our sakes. All right, He made the world for His chosen people's sakes. Now listen to this. All right, as for the other people which also come of Adam, as for the other people that's not His chosen people that also come of Adam, this is what the most I thinks about them. All right, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. He says they spit to him. All right. He says they're nothing, all right? But be like unto spittle, all right? And have likened the abundance them 
of them unto a drop that followed from a vessel. So if you had a bucket of water, right, and you dropped a little, you dropped a little bit about, uh, dropped like a drop of it, you're not gonna care about that bucket of water, right? You know, I mean, not bucket of water. You're not gonna care about that drop that fell out. You're not gonna care about it. So that's the equivalence to what the Mosai thinks about these other nations. They're spittle to him, spit. That's what he thinks about him because he's had his chosen seed from the beginning of time. He had his. Are you familiar with Moses part in the Red Sea? Right? Who did Moses part the Red Sea for? The Israelites. The Israelites. It never, it, he never saved. I'm going I'm to I'm uh, read some more scripture for you because I showed you that one. Now listen to this. This is Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Let me get this for you. We're going to go to the New Testament because people, you know, they be like, oh, you only in the Old Testament. We want to break it all throughout the whole scriptures. It's the same message. Listen to this. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. So, he said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, not the God of everyone, the God of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people, all right? And I've raised up a horn of salvation for us. He's raised up, raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of David, in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from, and from the hand of all that hate us. So the most I said, we're going to be saved from our enemies. So how can the enemies then be saved? All right. We're going to be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. All right. Now listen to this. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham. All right. So you have to understand he promised to our fathers. He ain't promised to the whole world. All right. Let me get this for you. Um, let me get Joel chapter 2 verse 20. But why not? Why, why God not promise that? Because it's, I mean, it, why he not promise to save the whole world? Because grace and truth and mercy. And mercy. Because, I mean, put it this way. All right. Picture this like the Most High's move. All right. He's got the good guys, which are the Israelites. I'm going to put it in like uh, layman's terms. He got the good guys, which is us, the Israelites. And he got the bad guys, which is the rest of the world. All right. Them bad guys ain't going to just then come in to be good guys because that'll mess up the movie, right? You, they have to do their place because this is his movie. This is his world. And they're doing what he ordained them to do. All right? Now listen to this. I'm going I'm to read this for you. This is Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my no people shall never be ashamed. Me. You said what? There's no other besides me. Exactly. I am your he, Lord, he, God of Israel. Israel and uh, let me read that again because that's powerful. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So the most I says, I am the Lord your God and none else. All right. So why would he say that the most everyone says, oh, the most you can't the scriptures ain't gonna contradict themselves. People just don't understand the scriptures. All right? Because you'd be like, oh, that's a contradiction if we go to John 3, 16, God so loved the world. But I just uh, explain that to you that that world is the world of Israel. All right? God's chosen people. Now, listen to this. Um, we'll go to Amos 3 and 1. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing, What's up, bro? man? Good to see you. What's up with you, man? How you doing, bro? I'm right. speaking the word, sure, man. I'm speaking see. the word. Tyler's uh, down there, too. Sure, all right. What's, hey, come back. Talk to me, man. When you, when you yeah. get back on this way. Bro, I'm about to leave now. Oh, you about to leave? Yeah. All right, well, I'm just speaking to the word, man. Uh -huh. All right, hold on. You, you recording? Hey, go ahead, man. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Right, good, man. I got to get going, man. Oh, you got to get going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, look, take yeah. this. Like I said, you know who you are, man. All right, I'm out here every Friday, sundown, and every Saturday. I'll be out here tomorrow, all right? All right, but what's uh, I got, I've, I've definitely been waiting for you, man. <laughs> you been waiting for me? Yeah, I've been waiting for you, man. Why have been waiting it's for me? It's the spirit that you came about here, man. You believe in that man right there? And... Huh? In Jesus. You believe in you think that's Jesus? Like I mean I mean that ain't Jesus. I mean that picture is without it? without the horn on it, you think that's that, Jesus. I mean that picture isn't it? Without that horn on it, you think that's Jesus. Look, look at right here. Tyler, it's Ray J. Without that horn, you think it's Jesus. Huh? Without that horn, you think it's Jesus. I said like man, I don't believe in the man the I believe in Jesus. Alright, listen to this. I believe in Jesus. Alright. Oh, can I can I ask you a question Hello. first? Can I ask you a I'm, question? I'm gonna listen, what's up? Where'd you start? Where, where, where'd you start? I've been doing this for a while now, man. I've been doing this for a while now. How long? I've just been down here in Greenville. So, How long? you know, I come out there. It's about, about a year or so. Yeah. Where, where'd you start? Uh, like I said, I've been I've been in and out of it for a while, but now, you know, I'm truthful in. What made I you, listen to this. What, what made you this, start? Uh, like I said, the truth. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. You remember this? <laughs> How are you? 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 Are you
Griffin, dude. Griffin, too. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm about to knock you over. What's up, man? All right, so you said you believe in that man, right? I believe in Jesus, yeah. So do you believe that's the African picture of Jesus? The picture? Yeah. No. Nope. No, I feel like it was an Israeli man. No. Israeli. So what does Israelis look like? Middle Eastern. Yeah. All right. All right. Now I'm finna, I'm finna show you this. You, and I'm finna show you the description of Christ, and you tell me if this looks Middle Eastern. All right. This is Revelation chapter one verse one. Out here like wool. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So what does the revelation mean? What does it mean to you? What does the word revelation mean? What does it mean to you? What is the is, is it apocalypse in Greek? Is no. What, what is the word by itself? Revelation. I don't know. Reveal. Reveal. All right. You got that right. It's in the word. Revelation. All right, so this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white and woolly. All right, is that hair white? Is that hair woolly? All right, so there's two stripes right there. All right, um, we'll jump down. As white as snow and his eyes was a flame of fire and his feet like a to fine brass. So what color is fine brass? Yeah, like, a white yeah. like a brownish yeah, gold. Yeah. Now listen to this. His feet like a to fine brass as if they burn in the furnace. So his feet was like on the fine brass as if they burn in the furnace. So you take that uh, fine brass and then burn it in the furnace. What color is it going to be? It's going to be like a, like a light hot. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Burn, not heating. Darkened. Not heating. Is that? Darkened, yeah. Not heating it up. All right, to a certain temperature. It's like dark. Like burn. If you got some food and you burn it, what color is it going to be? If you burn anything, what color is it going to be? It gets dark. Yeah, it gets All right. dark. Does yeah. that sound Middle Eastern? Yeah. All right. The same Middle people, Eastern guys are. It's like, sometimes it can be rather dark. Yeah. Let me ask you this: Is the same people here today? The same people that were here two thousand years ago? All right. No. So, how can you say that the people that are in the Middle East today are the same people that were here there two thousand years ago when Christ walked? You can't. It's a guess. All right. So you can't say for a fact that those people look exactly the same. All right. You're familiar with Christ going out. He sprang out of the tribe of Judah, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna read this for you. This is Jeremiah. Chapter 14, verse 2. All right. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. So the tribe of Judah, the people that come out of the tribe of Judah, are black unto the ground. All right. So is that is that uh, show, is that a Middle Eastern uh, description? Uh, I mean. So I mean, yeah. I, I, wasn't wasn't the tri tribe of Judah like captured by the Babylonians and didn't they like kind of mix a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're gonna find out is that you're actually the tribe of Judah. You come from the tribe of Judah. And I'm gonna prove it to you out of the Bible. Alright, this is chapter this is Deuteronomy. Alright, are y'all familiar with the Israelites? Mm -hmm. Are y'all familiar yeah. that that's God's chosen people? Yeah. Alright. So the, the the Israelites went through curses. And these are the curses, alright? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Alright. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and the statutes which I command these days, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses are going to come upon the Israelites because we didn't listen to the words of the Lord. All right. Now this is Deuteronomy 28, 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this is going to be a sign. These curses are going to be a sign to you for you to know who the true Israelites are today. Now listen to this. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. All right, so the Lord is going to bring us into Egypt again. Do you know what Egypt means? What was what did Egypt represent uh, in the Bible? Well, it is slavery. Yeah. Slavery. slavery. Yeah. All right, but I'm going to prove it. I'm not just going to, you know, you, you got it right, but I'm going to prove yeah. it to you. All right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. All right. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 12. At least I'll forget. At least I'll forget. Uh, then, oh my bad. Then beware lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage. All right. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. Slavery. All right. So we know that the Israelites never went back into actual Egypt again after getting saved from Moses, uh, right? Yeah. So he has to be saying we're going to go back into slavery, right? Okay. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, slavery again, with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. So the real Israelites are going to go into slavery again with ships. All right, by the way, where I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So you said he looked like an Israeli. The real Israelites aren't going to see their homeland in Israel anymore again. All right, so that's to tell you who are those people up there in Israel right now claiming they're Israelite. All right, continue. 
art, and there you should be sold into your enemies for bond men and bond women. So we're gonna be sold into our enemies for slave man and slave woman. All right, that's what bond mean. All right, and no man shall buy you. Now that buy, buy is another, we go into the Greek and the Hebrew, the word buy means redeem. All right, so no one's gonna redeem us, no one's gonna save us out of that slavery that the Lord ordained for us to go through. All right, so the real Israelites are gonna go through that. So you said something, you said something that uh, Christ, uh, he was Israeli. Now this is what the Lord says about the so-called Jews that are up there in Israel right now, coming with some of the Jews. All right, because the tribe, the word Jew comes from the tribe Judah. All right, so that's the same tribe that Christ sprang out of. All right, so Judah, all right, is the same tribe that uh, that we speak of that are black into the ground. So you know that's one that's one sign. But I'm gonna go to the Bible. This is Revelation two and verse nine. I know by works and tribulation and poverty. The most I says he knows the works and the tribulation and the poverty. All right, so the real Jews are going through tribulation and poverty. All right, they're not the richest people on the earth like the so-called Jewish people are. They're not the richest people on earth. All right, man. Uh, if you uh, if you get called uh, if I was to call you childish, am I calling you an actual child? What am I saying? Childlike. You're acting like a child, right? So if they're getting called Jewish, they're acting like the Jews, correct? All right, so that's, that's a giveaway right there. If you were a real Jew, you say, I'm a Jew. All right, now listen to this. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are the Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So he says he knows the blasphemy of them which say they are the Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. They're literally the church of Satan. All right, so what do y'all think about that? Is this a handout for grandma? Oh, your yeah, grandma, man. I have a question. Actually, I, have two, I have two questions. I want to point here. Um, what are you trying to portray to us? Try to you, try to you. Or, or, or what are you trying to, what are you trying to teach us to show us? All right, do you, do y'all believe everyone's equal? You believe everyone's equal? But then I guess you can go to the Bible to try to disprove what I just said. Yeah, yeah I, mean, <laughs> I asked you a question. Yeah. All yeah. right, this is Deuteronomy, yeah. chapter seven, verse six. All right, so your church has probably been telling you that everyone's equal. All right, but that's not biblical. All right, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. What does holy mean? Set, set, set apart. All right. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Most High has a, a separate people, which are the Israelites. That I just told you to went through those curses. Yeah. That are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So is the Bible lying? So everyone can't be equal, correct? Well, but forgive me, but I um uh, so. It's my conviction that context always leads to clarity. Yeah, yeah. So the more context you have around a certain piece of scripture, talk, talk, talk. the more clarity you're going to have concerning what that's talking about. All right, so you're familiar and, with Deuteronomy, right? Right. All right, so, so what are those, what's the context of Deuteronomy? The context of Deuteronomy, is so, so God in that space is setting them up to be a nation for him, a nation yeah. of, of kings and priests. And yeah, right, right. And so, yeah, um, I guess my question would then be, like, in... If we're thinking not just in the context of Deuteronomy, the book, but in the context of the whole Bible, oh, okay. wouldn't that be like God setting the Jews up? It's my understanding that God was setting the Jews up to be a set apart people, a holy people, or the, the people in Deuteronomy, so that out of that line he could bring Jesus, not necessarily so they could be like a better people than everybody else. But, but if the Lord says he's there above all people, did you, are you saying that changed? But, so, I'm so saying it right? was like, I'm saying it was, it was for a time and a purpose. Yeah. All right. So it was just for a time. Yeah. All right. All right. I got it. Hold on. I got a scripture for you. Yeah. I, got, I, I got you. Hold on. Yeah. This yeah. is Malachi chapter three, verse six. For I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord says, I change not. Yeah. So if the Lord said. In Deuteronomy, they're above all people. They're gonna remain above all people for the, for the rest of uh, of existence. Okay, so uh, I, 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 that's actually a fair train of thought. But what about once you get to the to the New Testament? You're right. You're and right, you're Paul, right. Um, so, you know, Paul like makes a statement and he says, "There is no longer Jew nor Greek no, nor." bond or slave nor male nor female but everybody is like kind of equal in pride right. Yeah. right yeah and that's Galatians 3 28 all right so who was Galatians written to? this is a Galatians so what was Galatians written to? what what was Galatians written to? 
don't know. Alright, well anyway, I'm, I'm gonna answer your question, but I'm gonna go into what you said. Mm -hmm. You said neither Jew or nor, nor Greek. What you're gonna understand that the so-called Greeks or so-called Gentiles that Paul was speaking to were Israelites. Alright? They were just in Greece. They were in these other places because the most I says, I'm finna read it for you. Uh, this is James um, chapter 1 and verse 1. Alright? Listen to this. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. So the most I says, to the 12, I mean, so uh, James is saying to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. So that's why he would go to Greece. That's why we go to these other places because these 12 tribes of Israel are scattered abroad. All right, now I'm going to prove to you. All right, because you want to go to, we're going to go to Paul's rights. And we're going to break down. We're going to see if Paul is teaching something different than what the most, with the, uh, uh, with the, um, the, in Deuteronomy that you're talking about. So we're going to go to um, Romans chapter um, 9, verse 3. All right, so listen to this. Y'all got a key on this one. For I can wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, you can hear me. For I can wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. So Paul said, I can wish that I could go through what Christ went through for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the actual flesh. Right. All right. Not just, you know, believing, but his actual brethren, his, his actual kinsmen according to the flesh. Now listen to this. Who are Israelites, all right, to whom pertaineth the adoption, all right? So who are Israelites? To whom pertain the adoption? So Israelites are the only ones that can be grafted in. As you see in so-called, uh, that you're saying in Greek, in, gen, uh, in these different places like Rome. All right, because they need to be grafted in because they were scattered abroad. Now listen to this. All right. Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenant? So they, they pertain the glory, which is the kingdom. All right. They pertain the covenants, which is the new and the old covenant. All right. In the giving of the law. So Israelites were the only ones given the law. Mm -hmm. And we all know that is a fact, right? Yeah. All right. In the service of God. Now, Paul says Israelites are the only ones that can have the service of God. Now, that's deep. You, that's real deep. In the service of God in the promises. Now, you probably thought Christ came for everyone, right? Yeah. That's what we've been told. Now, listen to this. Yeah. And whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh, the actual flesh, Christ came who was over all, still in Romans, they're over all people, because they're Israelites, all right? Um, who was over all, God bless forever, amen. So, so then, so, so, so then question, my question would be, put that in the context of John 3, 16, right? All right. John, but I'm saying, I'm saying the right, world, on, I mean, you, you, you can't, I mean, right. you know what I'm saying, like, the world is the world. All right. So, and, no, 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 I gotta, no, I'm, no, gonna, that, that's, I'm, I'm so, gonna deal with that, all right? Yeah. Well, let, me, let me add a scripture on that. <laughs> um, so, not only John 3, 16, but also Acts 2 when, right. when Yeshua himself says uh, that I, I want I want you to go and proclaim my gospel to Judea, right. Samaria, and to the ends So we're going to go to Acts 2 immediately after I deal with what you said, John 3, 16. Okay. So you have to understand that this book was translated from the Hebrew and the Greek, right? So this book was translated from the Hebrew and the Greek, right? All right. This book comes from three texts. All right. The Masoretic text, the Dead Sea Scrolls, and the Greek Septuagint. All right. So the Greek Septuagint. All right. When we're reading here, you have to understand that it's from Greek. All right. Do you remember when we went to uh, when we studied uh, so-called Greek mythology, right? Um, do y'all remember what the description of world was? Yeah. When we when we studied it. I don't. All right. So world is societies of people. When you look it up in the Greek, it's a. Uh, um, it's the cosmos. All right, so there's different societies of people. So when the most I said he has a world, he's talking to a specific society of people. And I'm gonna prove it to you. We're gonna go to Hebrews. All right, go to Hebrews chapter one. All right, Hebrews chapter one and one. So I'm gonna prove to you that the most I has made multiple worlds. All right, then in John 3:16 he's talking about a specific world. All right, God who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Have in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed here of all things, by whom also he made the world with an X. So he made the world. Alright. So in John 3 16, he has to be talking about a specific world, right? What, what? I'm sorry, what? Because I told you uh, this so-called world means a society cosmos. Alright, that's what it literally says in the Greek. Alright, so it means societies of people. So in John 3 16. He's talking about, he's talking about a specific world because he made multiple worlds. All right, now we're gonna go to what world he was talking about. And what, I, what, what, what version? This King James. All right, um, this is, we're gonna go to what what world he was talking about. 
All right, this is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved. So once again, he's going back to Israel. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So that's the world in John 3, 16 that he's talking about. It's a singular world. Now you might be like, what you say? We're going to go to Acts 2 because you said that means whoso, whosoever. That means anyone, right? We said whosoever because we explained the world. So now we got to go deal with the whosoever. Now we're going to go to Acts 2, what you were bringing up. All right. We'll go to Acts 2 and verse 21. All right. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now you might stop there. Now listen to this. Ye men of Israel. So he says, ye men of Israel. All right. Hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man uh, approved among uh, approved of God among you by miracles, wonders, and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So that's the whosoever. So then, all right, here's my question now. So read that one more time. All right. And this shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles, wonders, and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. So then, for, for example, right now, you would say to us, hey, ye Americans, right? No, if, no, no I'm, saying, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. Well, right now, if you're speaking to us, if you say if you were Paul, no, 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 listen, no, no I'm saying like, if, if you were Paul, if you were trying to speak to us, you would say, hey, ye Americans. No. Hey, no, no, listen. I'm going to show you the difference between. Hey, can, 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 can I finish now? I'm going to show you the difference can, between uh, America. Hey, I'm, America is hey, made from a, a man's name. No, America is no, no, listen, okay, okay. Listen, listen, listen. listen. You, 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 can it's I, can the actual flesh. Hey, please, can I finish my point? I'm going to let you finish, but you have to understand it's actual flesh. Can I finish my point? So, listen, I'm saying. Right now, hey, man, if you believe in Jesus. Listen, man, listen, listen. So he said, so right now, Paul was like, hey, ye Israel, right? He was speaking to the context of people he was talking to, right? So right, right now, Ray J, you're saying, hey, ye people, hey, ye people in Greenville, South Carolina, this is what I'm saying. So he was speaking no. to the people. No, listen, no, listen. I'm saying, I'm saying right there in that moment, the whosoever was the whosoever. No, no, no matter no. who it was. He, no, 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 no. That's listen, why no, he listen, cl clarified listen, can, can and said, ye men of Israel. When he was, because that's, that's, that's who he was talking no, to. No, 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 no. It never, you can't. You can't fight scripture with scripture. I'm not no, fighting scripture. Right, so deal, <laughs> deal with Romans 9 and 4 when the most I says can I, can Israelites I, are the only ones that can have a service now? of God. Can I, can I, Paul Lyon? Romans question. 9 4 says what? Uh, Israelites are the only ones that can have a service of God. Can I ask you a question? Wait, wait, wait. Can, huh? we're, we're not. We're not trying to have it. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no. It's not an argument. I like this. That's what I'm saying. I want, uh, I want you to teach. Me. I want yeah. to understand. Yeah. This is, hey, right, hey, this is hey, it. Before we go on, I want to recommend you a book that I've been reading. I think it's super interesting. I think you'd like find it interesting. There's a book called The Color of Christ that I've been reading. Yeah. And it's about how this kind of all plays out in like the South of America. Yeah. Uh, like the American South. Um, it's called The Color of Christ, The Son of God, and the Saga of Race in America. It recently just came out from uh, Chapel Hill. Yeah. It's a super interesting book, it, and I haven't read much of it, but it is talking about how depictions of Jesus have like evolved over time, yeah. in the like, especially in the American South. Yeah. Exactly. And what was the, where we are? What was the first picture? I, I mean, I'm, I'm reading the book. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> is, you know what is the but first picture? When you, the, when the you get to the book. end of the book, you gonna learn. That's what's called the color of Christ. Why he was actually a colorful man. For sure. He was, I, yeah, he was a dark is. man, not that's a so-called Middle Eastern. That's undoubtedly true. Yeah, exactly. that's undoubtedly All right, can I say, can uh, I say two things real quick? Uh, no, I got scripture. I just want to, yeah, I want to hear your point. All right, all right. Well, let, 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 me, let me bring you out the scripture. Hold up, hold up. Can I read this one thing, man? You've been reading all this. Before you read that, let me read this. Let me read this. Because I want you to be able to say what you have to say against this. All right. This is what the Lord says. And ye shall know, this is Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So explain that. So why would the Most High say, if He's the God of everyone, why is He saying I'm in the midst of Israel and none else? But why did He say my people shall never be the same? What do you mean by that? He said that my people shall not ever be ashamed because ashamed. they know that they're Israelites. Yeah. Okay. So what? Bring out the scripture. Yeah, yeah. So Romans nine. You said Romans nine four. Yeah. All right. Cool. So here's what it says, and then going on from there. There the Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the whoa, law. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What verse are you dealing with? ESV. ESV. So yeah, I'm dealing with the King right, James. King James so right, go right. to the King James. Yep. yep. Can I ask you a question, yeah. bro? Um, yeah, mate. Like I'm gonna agree with Tyler. I just want to ask you this question. Yeah, yeah. Our friend got married tonight. 
I mean, like, man, it's man, for one, it, it's, it's real, it was real cool to see you today. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, was, like, straight up. Dude, but, like, I just want to ask uh, you, man, just, like, um, like, who would, like, personally, uh, for you, for, about, not from, uh, kind of like, how, from your heart, uh, like, like, who would you say that Jesus is to you? Kind of the, uh, uh, the Savior of is. Of Christ, you know? so, 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 it's always been. So, so, but how does that play in for you? That what do you mean? Like, how does that plan for me as a... No, 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 no. I'll say for you as a person. So, so like, for you as a person, so you say you believe Jesus is the Savior of Israel, right? So, I mean, it's not only what I believe, it's what the Bible says. Okay. So, I mean, like, so personally, I mean, so personally, so, like, um, yeah, no, I mean, that's that's like, who would you personally say who's like, who is Jesus to you? This, like, 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 for you as a person, like, who is he to you? This is what I was saying, look. I mean, yes, yeah, 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 we got to look, this, look, all right, I'm going to show you, because this is for me, so this okay, is what yeah, 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 yeah. Matthew chapter 15, like, verse 24. Uh, but he answered and said, this is what, this is in the New Testament. Christ answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So why did Christ say, I just wrote you uh, Romans 9 and 3, of whom concerning the flesh that Christ came were over all the Israelites. Now he's saying, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And if you know the Bible, he says, I came to save that which is lost. And this is what is lost, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, because they were scattered abroad. All right. So, what did you guys say? So, if Jesus, so who's Jesus to me as a, as a white guy that's not clearly not part of the, the 12 tribes? Who's Jesus to me? And and what is my hope for salvation if, if I'm not one of the 12 tribes? I'm going to read to you. Okay. Because does that mean I'm just like damned to hell? I'm going to show you. All right. Because, I, I mean, I read it to you. You can take it what you want to. But if the Lord says that Israelites are the only ones that had the service of God, what does that mean? But but here, so here's Romans 9 4, and this is what I'll read to you, okay? Listen to you're the Israelites, this is King James, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. All right, who, hold on, no, no, no. Whose are the fathers and who, whom as concerning the flesh Christ came, who is over all, God bless over forever, amen. Not as though the word of God hath taken none effect, for they are not all Israel. This, this which so-called Gentiles is what I'm telling you. Right, so that's, that's. No, no, no. The Gentiles are applying to the Israelites that were in the Gentile areas that practice the Gentile customs. What are you basing that on? Well, it's the whole Bible. But like, okay, so what are you basing that so on the Gentiles? So what are you basing that on if the Lord says only Israelites can have a service so to God? I'm, I'm basing this on the fact that Paul, like like God came to Paul, or was it Peter in a dream and said, hey, go to the Gentiles and proclaim the gospel. The reason yeah. he and, went and to the Gentiles is because I told you this 12 so tribes are scattered abroad. Right, right, but the Gentiles were the Romans and were all kinds of different people, right? Uh, no, no, so they were, they were the people a, who put Jesus look, on a cross. Look, and, and here's my question. Why would Jesus on the cross say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. Why would he have a heart for, to forgive the people who put him on a cross as they were in the 12 tribes? That, that's just my question. I'm going to show you. Yeah. I have to deal with No, I mean, just not a deal. Like, I'm not, I'm not arguing with that. I'm just curious what, All right. like, what you have to say about it. All right. Because I just want to know what my hope is for salvation. All right. I'm going to let you know. Okay. We're going to go to this, and then we're going to go to this. Hold on. I'm gonna deal with this first, and then I'm gonna go into the Gentiles. As you said. All right. Are you familiar with the so-called apocrypha? Yeah. All right. Do y'all understand? So that, do y'all understand that was a part of the Bible, and well, they took it out? What was the apocrypha? I don't believe it was. All right. So this is. So, yeah. the, it, it, it's, not, it's not. It's not a matter of what you believe. It's a matter of fact. All right. Okay. This is the yeah. Bible in 1611. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the King James Holy Bible in 1611. Mm -hmm. All right. In that Which is Greek, another translation of the earlier scripture. Right? All right, so in the Greek Septuagint, the Greek Septuagint contained these scriptures. All right, so it has to be a matter of truth. All right, the Catholic Church took these took these fourteen books out of the Bible. Okay. All right, so it is a matter of truth because this is the Bible in 1611. There's no, I don't have, I don't have an extra book with me. This is the whole King James Bible in 1611, before the so-called Renaissance era, okay. before the so-called Enlightenment era, when they took these books out. Now listen to this. This is Second Ezra. Chapter 6, verse 54, because I'm going to answer your question. Oh, is this uh, Second Edris? Second Edris, yeah. This is a part of the apocrypha, like I told you. Okay, cool. Part. Yeah, okay, cool. cool. But the, it's a, I got to I deal with that, though. Do you believe in it? Do I believe in the, the apocrypha? No, I don't. So if it's a part of the Bible and you don't follow the problem with them taking out the scriptures? Uh, I, listen, from did they what? they take it out or would they put it together? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, like so, I, so, so, listen, do, man. do your research. When y'all go home, like, do your yeah, research. That's yeah. A, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you're right. His writings around the same time. They're important to the construction of the gospel. Exactly. If, yeah. if, it's, if we get the Bible from the Greek Septuagint and 
the Apocrypha was in the Greek Septuagint. Yeah, sure. And it was in the Bible all the way up to 1611 until they took it out. Should you, do you think you should deal with that scripture? Yeah, and it's the same for like even the Gnostic Gospel. They're, they at least need to, you need to at least check it out. Yeah. And that's what I'm telling y'all Because if I'm holding up the Holy Bible right here The King James Holy Bible in 1611 And they took it out the year after Do you think it's a problem with that? Can I see it? Can I hold it right here? Yeah, so how many books would it be 14 now? 14 books but, So 66 with 14 yeah. be, well, How much is that? Uh, you know about uh, right. <laughs> Quick mail right quick bro <laughs> This is the King James Holy Bible yeah, no, my Bible is a Bible. As whole, New Testament, so wait, and Old Second Ezra? Second Ezra, it's in the pocket right here. Ezra, right here. The books? Yeah, yeah, the reason why they went back is because, like, wasn't it like the uh, the early church didn't have the Apocrypha in the Protestant, Re the Protestant Reformation? They wanted to go back to the original state of the it's, church. It's yeah. a, so they got rid of the Apocrypha and they kept, they held on only to the early church. Yeah. That's the only reason why they took it out. What, but it's a it's an actual scripture. You gotta deal with it because the same people that translated this book were the same people that translated the rest of the Bible, and it was in the Bible all the way up to 1611 yeah, until they, they took it out. It, exactly because it said stuff. And the reason they took it out is because of what I'm finna tell you right here. All right, and I'm finna show you. All right, it speaks too much about old times and the truth. All right, and, and the end times too. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter six and verse fifty-four. All right, um. And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest the Lord of all, all thy creatures, of him come we all. So everyone comes from Adam, right? Am I right? Of him come we all. Sure. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So the people also whom thou hast chosen comes from this group of people. All right? All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the most I said, he makes this whole, the cosmos for our sake. All right? Now listen to this. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. As for everyone else that's not his chosen people, so guess, Israelites, including you, okay. this is what the Lord thinks. Okay. All right? As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. So I'm spit. That's what the Lord, that's what the Lord says. Okay. All right. So, so does that, that just means I'm like, just, I'm just damn for hell. Uh, you, 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 I'm going to read heaven for you. Okay. We, we gotta deal with well, heaven. I mean, I don't care. I'm, I shouldn't really care about heaven if I'm. Because I don't like to be in the park because you say you don't deal with it. So we gonna go. Yeah, to the, we gonna yeah, we gonna yeah. go to the New Testament. Okay. All right. This is Revelation. All right. Chapter twenty one, verse twelve. And this is heaven. All right. We'll start at eleven. Having the glory of God in her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. So if you're not in the children of Israel, if you're not in the twelve tribes, what does that mean for you, man? It is said that it had names for the gates. Uh, if it has specific names for each tribe of Israel, all right. So what does that mean for the people that aren't Israelites? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say from what I heard, it is said that it had the names of the gates. Yeah. All right. This is. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with Luke one and sixty eight because I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of the prophet because even though y'all even though it's true scripture we are gonna go to what y'all deal with and I'm gonna, and it's gonna say the same thing. All right, we're gonna go to Luke chapter one and verse sixty eight. All right, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Why is he only the God of Israel? This is Luke one and sixty eight. That'd be the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, exactly. right? Exactly. Which would be the and and the chosen one. If I'm wrong, but. Basically, it talks about Abraham having descendants that are more than the, like the stars and the sands of the sea. Yeah. Right. Okay. But specifically, but Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Which is the, so he's chosen the God of Israel. Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. Yeah. yeah okay. Jacob's name was changed into Israel. All right. For right. he have visited and redeemed his people. So blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he have visited and redeemed his people. So the Lord came and visited his people. Now, who is his people? To redeem his people. Y'all know who his people is. It, 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 yeah, it shouldn't be that hard. If you, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 9, and I'm going to prove it. All right? Um, uh, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. And like I told you, Jacob, is, his name was changed to Israel. All right? So that's God's chosen line. So Jacob is his people, Israelites. All right? Now we're going to go back to Luke 1 and 68, and we ain't going to finish it. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us. So Israelites, he's raised up a salvation for us. All right. In the house of his servant David, David, as he spake by the house of his holy by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Listen to this: that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. So why is the Lord saying we shall be saved from our enemies 
and from the hand of all the hate, uh, haters. So can the enemies and all that, that hate us be saved? If the Most High says that we shall be saved from the hands of our enemies and all, all of, in the hand of all the haters? Have a question. So, That's right, um, pretty yeah, no, you're absolutely oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, um, right. Dude, this is so enlightening. And first of all, I want to applaud your passion. Look, I want to applaud yeah. your hey, knowledge look, of the scripture. Hey, look, it's nothing to me, man. It's all in the Lord. Man. Dude, it's all in the Lord. Y'all know, know what type of person I used to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what type of person. It's all of so, the Lord, man. Look, it's all of the Lord. Let me ask you this. Um, See. So it. It has been my <laughs> my personal <laughs> conviction. It's so good to see you. Um, yeah, that to have strong faith is like to major in the majors. So basically, get the mega meta narrative, get the big picture, um, and, and fall in love with the beauty guys. So let me ask you, like, what what is the what's the end goal? You know, right. for, so for for this for me two two type of salvation for specifics. Like, what what is their ministry? If, um, if we're given the work of the holy work of God, like what is our ministry? What do we do? Because I still have to reconcile. One, um, we never got to turn to act Max two, which we don't have to. You can right, just yeah. tell me verbatim what you think. But then two, uh, I've heard that, um, or I've read that another description of heaven includes every oh, tribe, yeah. every nation, no, every because people. it's going to be a certain. I'm, I want to break that down for you, and I know y'all got to leave. So let me let me break this down for you because yeah. you said something true, but I'm just telling you the gates of heaven. Pertain to Israelites. Now I'm gonna deal. With what is heaven gonna be like? Cause we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Isaiah, cause he has a prophecy of heaven. All right, and we're gonna deal with. It. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14. I'll hold this for you, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll follow the way that you know the scripture too, man. Oh it's yeah, cool. like I said, it's all of the Lord, man. Listen, Isaiah 14 and one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So like I told you, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. And at the end of the day, he's going to have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. All right. And set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the Most High says the strangers are going to be joined with them. All right. This is a prophecy of heaven. Now listen to this. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. This is the land of the Lord. So the Most High says these other nations, all right, the other nations, they're going to be possessions in the land of the Lord. Now listen to this. Uh, for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So that is, that's heaven. Does that sound like... The Bible doesn't agree with what our pastors tell us, man. All right, and it's and it's and it's just and it's sad because look, I'm gonna read this for you. For you, I'm gonna leave y'all for this. This is Luke chapter um, uh, one. All right, blessed are you. Uh, blessed are you when men shall hate you, when they shall separate you from that company, and shall approach you, and shall cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. So the real the real prophets of the Lord are gonna be approaching them. They're going to be calling their name evil. You think everyone agree with what I, the scriptures I bring out today? Because it's the truth, man. man. And Christ spoke the same thing. Was Christ loved among people? Was Christ, did everyone take Christ in and love him? They tried to kill him three or four times yeah. because he was speaking the same word. Now listen to this. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So they did the same thing to our prophets because they were speaking the truth. All right? And um. I know you gotta go, man. <laughs> As I want to get one last scripture for you. Yeah, this, is, um, this is Matthew 7 and 12. Alright, listen. Uh, 
Verse 7 is Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which leads to destruction. So the Most High says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for broad is the gate which, which leads to destruction, man. What everyone else is doing is never the right way, man. What everyone is a so called Christian out here, man, Christian and, and Christianity, Christianity is nowhere in the Bible. You won't find Protestant in the Bible. It was, you called, find, the, it was called the way. Is that right? And, and uh, Christian is being a follower of Christ. All right, so you have to understand that the word Christianity is nowhere in the Bible. Presbyterian isn't in the Bible. Uh, that was forced um, upon us. Protestant, For Baptist, sure. none of these things exist in the Bible. Now I'm going to show you. All right? man -made. Car. And enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which leads to destruction. And many there be which go in there. Many people are going to be in Christianity. Many people are Muslims. Many people are these things, but it's not the truth. Now listen to this. All right? Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Few people are going to actually find this truth, man. Few people are going to actually humble themselves before the word of the Lord instead of having their ways that they thought that their parents taught them that everyone else taught them. Few people are going to actually listen to the word of the Lord. All right. Beware of false prophets which come to you and um, sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves, man. And that's a lot of these pastors, pastors out here, man. They coming to you in sheep's clothing. They got a good game. All right. They speaking, uh, speaking real good, making you feel real good. But what I tell you, it doesn't make you feel real good. And this is the reason why. All right, I know y'all gotta go. This is literally the last. This is really the last. This is really the last scripture right here. All right, and this is the reason why. Bro. All right, this is Isaiah chapter thirty verse ten. All right, thirty verse nine. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So these these pastors, they tell you you gotta keep all the laws, man. They tell you you gotta stop and you gotta keep the six hundred thirteen law, but you still gotta keep the ten commandments. When the Lord said you have to keep all these commandments, the law statutes. All right, you can't be eating pork. You can't be doing all these things the Lord specifically told you to do because the pastor's going to tell you it's okay to do those things. All right? When the Lord says it's not. Now listen to this. We say to the seers, see not. So they say to the seers, I can see with my own eyes what the truth is. And they're telling me to see not. All right? And unto the prophets, prophesy not unto his right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy to see. So they want me to tell you smooth things. They want to tell you things that make you feel all good. God is love. God loves everybody. Um... Uh, he'll never do you wrong. But that's none in the scriptures, man. The Lord is a man of war and vengeance, vengeance and death and destruction. But they want to make you seem like he's all love. We're made in the image of the Lord, right? So we have emotions like hate, love, uh, anger. The Lord, the Lord has the same emotions. All right? He's not all. How can he just be all love? All right? But listen to this. Get ye out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. So the most I says to get ye out of the way of these people where everyone else is doing man. All right, and be diff be separate, that holy people, because that's what's in y'all genes, man, to be a separate people. This, this was in y'all genes to be that holy people, man, that so separate people that? that came over their own ships. And, and, and people think our, uh, our lineage started at slavery, man. No. We were God's chosen people before we went over there, man. All right, people don't understand that, that it's something you should be proud of and something you should embrace. It's yeah. something you should change your life for. All right, because if you keep going in the way of this world, man, it's going to be nothing but death, death and yeah. destruction for us, yeah. man. Nothing. You're gonna be the the, the most high's only saving one third of Israel. So how much for the other people? Two thirds of his own people is gonna be destroyed. So how much for the others? Yeah, like I say, man, take me when I tell y'all, look it up, man. Try I've me. been reading about like, this. Like, legit. Like legit. Like a, it's what I'm trying to tell you. Try me and look up the words that I tell you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, bro. All right, Thanks, bro. Bro. I love this, bro. It was so right. good to see you. All right, man. All right, bro. I'm gonna keep reading about it. I really have been. Oh, yeah. I think it's interesting. Yeah, good to meet you, guys. All right, man. Like I say, man, take me one of these flies, man. Look it up. I know you. I know you on the on the fringe and everything. I know it's too much for you, but hey. look at what I'm telling you, man. Can you look at something? Can you look at something? Look, this is the truth. They're telling you, man. I'm not telling you a lie right here, man. This, this is truth. what they've been hiding from you. They don't want you to know who you really are. Man. And they steal your identity, they steal your identity and everything. But we are the chosen people. Oh God. Yeah. Can, I tell you, so, can I tell you my story? Right there? I'm really so for me, dude. Man, I don't know, because me and Reggie went to high school together in Hamlet. Yeah. Um man, so for me, I, I, I didn't grow up a Christian. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I mean I, I didn't grow up with me like I mean I went to church and stuff, but then I had a time up with me. I went to New Spring, still go to New Spring. Um, and for a time where Jesus revealed himself to me as Lord, and I gave my life to Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, um, and he literally changed my entire life, you know? And man, and, and genuinely, and this, this is my heart, this is my heart, bro. Um, 
dude, and I always, man, God love you. You know, I, I'm not, like, like straight up, like straight, like straight up, man, first, me, first John, first John, man, this is scripture, this is, you can go and read first John, first John says God is love. Anything apart, anything that is love is not God. No, God is, no, 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 listen, no, 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 uh, man, it says that the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. You said God is a love. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Y'all listen. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So how can y'all be loved? No, 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 you gotta be a fit. Ray, Ray J, man. Okay, listen. Okay, Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5. We want to talk about, hey, from my heart, listen. Paul, Paul talks about worship. In, in the, listen, Paul talks about worship in Ephesians 5. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 5 says, sing hymns, songs, spiritual songs. Sing and make music from your heart. Uh, I'm, 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 I mean, no, I mean, that's scripture. You're going too much off your heart, man. But and it's like the Bible will meet you where you are, though. That's the thing. No, he he you you that's what, that's that's what Christianity is going to teach you. Like, you, you, have to have, you have to have some type of foundation when, 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 when the truth this is, is this brought is to you. Listen, this is Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah. able to receive. Look, look. No, no, no. Because sister. I used to be no. into I used to be into Christianity. I used to be into church. I used to be into all of that. But what I'm saying. And you still got work to do. And that is fine because we all work in progress. You're not even what you're supposed to be. You're not trying to teach me. Listen, stop. Look, I need no, you to let me no, read the scripture. Sir, let me because read why do you want to argue? Why, why, why do you want to argue? He's not an argument. He's not, he's not a, but you are. But he's this not is the, Jeremiah you know, chapter 17, verse that's 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately, desperately wicked. Who can know it? The heart is deceitful among all things, man. They get they sticking on to you because they know you look good. They they, they wanna they wanna stick on to you. They ain't gonna tell you the truth. They wanna tell you smooth things. But what I'm not gonna do, brother, is lie to you. All right, the heart is deceitful, man. You've been deceitful. You've been deceived. You in New Spring Church, man. You still in New Spring, man. Matthew chapter seven, verse 13. Enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in their right. You in the broad way, man. Either you can get out of that way, or you gonna be destroyed, man. I'm not gonna teach you good things, man. It's not gonna happen here, and I'm not gonna do it. You can come in with all these other scriptures, but you know what? Scripture doesn't uh, uh, manipulate other scriptures, man. All right? He going by his heart, man. How you doing, brother? You got a second, brother? What's your nationality, brother? Caribbean. Caribbean. All right, you guys chose the people according to the Bible, man. This Proverbs chapter 6, verse 24. To keep thee from the evil woman from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids, man. This man, he came up listening to the scriptures. He wanted to hear the word of God, but then he want to be a part of a big church, New Spring. And when I started breaking it down to him, he didn't want to hear it. How you doing, brother? Right, you got a second. You believe in the Bible? I'm black, He said what, brother? I'm black, aren't I? You black, aren't I? You believe in this man right here? That man right there. You think it's Jesus? Who you? Who uh? Jesus wasn't white. What Jesus look like? Speak to him. Okay, he had skin of bronze. Bronze. Have lamb wool. White wool, just like yours. Right like yours, brother. Mean pure fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, look at this. All right. So you said you said he had you said he had uh his skin was bronze. Now listen to this. And that's not it. That's not it. In his feet, listen this. Listen this. Uh, King James verse. In his feet, like a fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So you take that brass that you're talking about, and then burn it in the furnace. That's how dark he was. He wasn't just fine brass. He was burnt. 
He was Bert Bert. He was Happy Ever Rare to Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon, yes I have, brother. Yes I have. He speaks of the view in his rock. Yes. And a beautiful black woman. A beautiful black woman, yeah. He's beautiful black. He was beautiful and black. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So, what you, you, do you know who you is according to the Bible? Yeah, I know who I am. Who are you? I know who I am. All right, do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go into what you said about being a so-called nigger. All right. Nigger, let me break it down. Nigger, nigger is an abbreviation of nigger root, yeah. meaning king. Uh, hold on, I'm finna, oh, I'm finna no, show you. No, you can't show me. It ain't in there. No, 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 no. I already know what I am. Who I am? I'm an Israelite. Yeah, you're an Israelite. You're a Hebrew Thank Israelite. God shows the people. Uh, Reggie, hey, can I ask you something? What's up, man? So, here, here's my heart, and I just want you to hear my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I can't tell you, I, I don't know that as well as you do. In fact, I've studied the Bible, but I'm going to call it God. But what I can tell you is my story. And the fact that I've felt and known that there's a change in my life because all I have is to do back then. So, there's scriptures that, that might be, we're like tossing and turning and doing all this, but what I know is true about me is that the way that the Lord's worked in my heart has been a burden for people like Daniel who just got that, hold on, no, 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 hey, listen, listen, listen. I don't want you to go there, I want you to listen to me. I'm gonna deal with the scripture, man. I'm no, listen no, no, to hey, I'm, I'm all about listening. I'm still, I'm still all right, but you're not listening. This, this shows that you don't care what I have to say. This shows that you care about what you have to say. Yeah, but hey, I'm asking you to listen to me. So, so if, if I'm not worth your time, then I'm gonna get out of here. Go ahead, Talk, man. All I'm saying, I'm not coming at you. This is not an argument. This is I want you to hear my heart. I'm listening. People like Daniel over there that just got the crap beat out of him. All, you weren't, you weren't, you didn't have a heart of love for him because no. he's spittle to you, right? Yeah, he spit. So, so I'm spit to you. Is what can I say like. something? Can I say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you over here in that motherfucker. What's the name? I got a cut his fucking coat. Look, look. Whoever spit on my name. Look, nobody, nobody spit on me. Look, oh, that's what you said. No, no, this he, he said that God has called me spit. Let me deal with the Bible. All right, you said something clear. You said your heart. It's in your heart. Listen and you're, you're going to go to the... This you're you're going to go to the heart of the sexual, I think. Yeah, yeah. no, I was just real. You heard me. Right, right. So, so hear me on this. What that scripture is not saying say? is that my heart is deceiving. So you're telling me that, that God has completely disregarded me as a person and created me just to damn me to hell. He has vessels for destruction. So, so he created me just to go to hell. Do you know, do you know what your biblical name is? What? Gentile? You have descendants. Yeah, go ahead and tell them, brother. Yeah, what's up? Oh, yeah. I'm called Edom. Esau. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Are you familiar with the story of Jacob and Esau? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You come from Esau. Okay. All right, I'm Esau old has old. a certain, no uh, 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 I wouldn't even call it, he has a certain time. This is, their prime, this is his prime time yeah, yeah, right here in I'm his life. About. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you first of all, because I just want to blow smoke up. I want to prove to you yeah, this. No, and I'm good. I just all right, this is Genesis, chapter 25. You're not going to hear this in church, because the church isn't going to tell you this, man. Okay. The church isn't going to break down the scriptures to you, right. because right. they want to keep you in a place where you think everything <laughs> is all smooth and everything is all good. Listen to this. Uh, Proverbs, I mean, this is Genesis, chapter 25, verse uh, 19. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Pandaran, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. So Rebecca couldn't have children, so he entreated the Lord because uh, uh, he, she was barren. All right? So he asked the Lord to have a, um, a, um, for him to have a child. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebecca, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And, uh, so she was saying, if this was meant for God, why are they struggling, yeah, why are they struggling between us? Uh, Oh, uh, right here. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So if you went out in the sun, what color are you going to turn? I'm going to get burned. Red, right? Yeah. So, let me ask you this. Uh, Scientifically, What's your yeah. nationality? All your people, all your fathers, uh, so Native American. Native American. Native American. Native American. Native American. Is that on your father's father 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 father
father of the yeah, he's, he's part Native American. Yes. So when you say part, are you saying I'm, I'm saying part? Does your does your father line go back to Native American? So my great 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 grandmother was full on Native American. See, yeah, on your mother's side. See, that's the thing. But my father was born. Or my, my great grandfather was born of her. What's his father name? No, his father was See, that's what I'm going back to. Okay. Listen, now listen to this. You got so to pay my rent. And after that, his brother came out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three scared, four years old when she buried him. So um, you, you, you come from, you know what I'm saying? He didn't go in there with Jacob look like, right? Because Jacob was a normal black baby during that time. All the How do you know the baby was white? Because I went and told you there's multiple scriptures about everyone in this Bible being the so called black people. But, but like, okay, so. Yeah. That's why they yeah, yeah. Uh, were so surprised at Esau because it came out late. Yeah, alright, so let's talk. So, I want you to, can you do me a favor? Can we talk, can we talk like. I can't close the Bible. I will listen to you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, but so, so my heart right now is not to talk about this. I want to hear your story and how Jesus has saved you and what's caused you to feel this. Because here's my thing, bro. Listen, listen, I'm not hating on it. If anything, like. Bro, you're out here not caring what people think of you, and I respect that so much that you have to, like, you feel such a burden for that, and praise God. I just want to hear your heart and how Jesus saved you. This is why. Yeah, 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 come on. When, when were you say like, do you remember how old you were, or what happened that the Lord changed your life? I'm going to show you. So it's in here when you got saved? Yes. Okay. It's in here. What, 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 what's going through? What you're saying? I don't care what people do. Yeah. Now that it's because of the Lord. I got nice and yeah. And this is why. Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Uh, Luke chapter 6, and verse 22. Uh, I'm basically Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. So, I must have said, it's blessed for us to go through those things, man. Blessed for us to be called evil. Blessed for people uh, to separate us from our company, like he did over there, separating himself from us, because he didn't want to deal with the word of the Lord. He wanted to deal with what he thought. All right, now listen to this. Hold on, hold on. I got a question. Where are uh, Ethiopians at on here? What do you mean, so like where are the Ethiopians? Ethiopians are not Israelites. Okay, but okay. Right, there are Israelites that are in Ethiopia. If you, you want to say that. No, no, no. All right. So, so here. Yeah, so they, when I, uh, let's go to Acts. Acts eight. All right. I went down to Jacksonville where they were dealing with the Israelites. But, yeah. but, but like I'm telling you, there no, no, no. are. Hey, but hear me. You guys, there are Israelites that are in Ethiopia. Hey, right there. I'm gonna say this out of out of love for you. You're gonna have a hard time letting people hear you hey, when they can't hear you. Hey, hey, look, look. You, you gotta let people <laughs> You can tell them about the Ethiopians. Yeah. Tell them about the Ethiopians know the highest degree of Judaism. They know more about Judaism than the people in Israel. Exactly. Look, here, tell you what you're saying. Go ahead. Hey, let me get to it. So, Acts 8, verse 26. Verse 26. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south, and unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is the desert. And he rose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, no, a eunuch of great authority under Candace Queen of the Ethiopia. Look, no, 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 bro, you got to deal it. with it. I'm you said a right. man of Ethiopia. Right. All right, so that's different from being Ethiopian. That's saying, just like you're a so-called American right. because you lived in America, it's the same way he's a man from Ethiopia. It doesn't mean his lineage is Ethiopian. If he's a man hey, of man, Ethiopia. Hey, man, tell me a role this man of Ethiopia. <laughs> Look. Look, but hey, bro, but you're like, here's my, this is what burns my heart and breaks my heart for you, man. You're hearing only what you want to hear. So you're telling me that I'm only hearing what I only want to hear, but you're hearing only what you want to hear. And the gospel, no, no, hey, listen, 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 listen. Nah, you got to listen to my heart, man. Listen, here's, here's my heart for you, dude. I'm not coming at you as, in, this is not any type of racing, this is none of that. This is my heart for you as a brother, that the gospel is bigger than just your way. Okay? Look, look, you like, I, I believe hey, that Jesus here. Christ died hey, on the hey, cross for, for all to be saved and accept him. He never did, man. Jesus says that he you don't know to you are of your, for salvation. Ye are of for, your father, the devil. What you call the so-called devil, that's your father. But the, but the whole beauty father. of the gospel is that people like me, people like you, people like all of us who live no, in no, sin, no, no, who no, have no, lived in sin, no, Jesus no. can save us. But so if we accept it, and this is, here's the crazy came, thing, bro. He came to save was that was just lost. And I'm the telling you, man, the house of there have been days and times where I've been on my face weeping out of the fact that Jesus has saved so, me. So, listen, and there's been you, things you, that, that are changed So you saying you saved? 
I, I believe that without a shadow of a doubt that I'm saved. Yes. All right. I believe so, that Jesus Christ died So you on the said you're saved. Now we're going to go to Mark 13 and 13. All right. Look, you said you're saved. There's no what? Don't even, tell, don't even let them know. This is What's Mark 13 and 13. And ye, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure, you listen. Listen. I, I'm, if I knew everything, I wouldn't ask you. That. Listen, I'm asking you. I'm trying to learn from you. Listen, listen, you said. You not tell me? Listen, you because it's not for you. It's not for you, man. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for you, man. So now I exactly to get the fuck on before I get no, back. Hey, no, hey, I'm not asking you to get back. Listen, can I ask you a question? <laughs> look, look, look. Can I ask you a question? I'm not answering it. Hey, uh, look, well, well, hold listen, on. as you said, you were saved. Look at this. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure to the okay. end, the Wait, same shall be saved. So he say he's saved, but he that endure to the end shall be saved, man. Feel that way towards me, and I'm look, sorry, because here's what breaks my heart, man. Look, I've, I've talked to a lot of people who have been. I don't give a fuck. Right, look. And that's what I'm saying, man. My, I can hear. I can. Can I say something? Yeah. I had to get the fuck out of my face. So that's and, what I but mean. you came towards me, man. I've been chilling. Look, bro, I've been chilling out here. Exactly. Right, but I'm not doing anything to you. I'm talking. You're all doing something to me. Look, okay, you don't understand, so my man. Heart, listen, man. I don't give a fuck about what you say. Okay. <laughs> well then, look, going, look. because I'm sorry for the way white people treat you. That's not my heart. It, it, I, I, it I doesn't like matter if it's not your heart, man. You I hate to be in here eighteen fucking months. Really? So you know when well, I come back. Respect them for my motherfucking service, motherfucker. I could have been killing you. <laughs> Come. I come back. I couldn't even Come. be in the motherfucking restaurant with you, dirty motherfucker. Come. Listen to this. Don't this be is sorry. This is John. This is John eight and forty four. Listen to this. Listen to this, man. Are you listening to the Bible? Listen to this. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. So you can talk all that sweet talk just like your forefathers talked to us before they killed us and slayed us and, and, and killed our babies and fed our babies to alligators. You you can talk. They talk the same sweet talk, man. They talk the same. Let me tell you something. Look, we had two black kings at one time. Who was it? Sure. Wow. Yeah. Exactly, I, I, man. I, I don't, this is what you don't I'll, understand. I'll be the first to say I don't know anything. Okay. Okay. You found no place for the man. Hey, Ray okay. J. Hey, no Look, brother. Hey, look. look. You don't run away from no, the word. No, no, I just want to ask him to pray for you. Look, man. No. You, you don't <laughs> pray <laughs> in, in front of the land. Yeah, you do. But yes, you do. No, you don't. There's something that's not biblical. You're not you're supposed to pray, pray as a hypocrite in front of everyone. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. See, that's something you learn in New Spring Church, man. It's not in the Bible. You're supposed to pray separate, man. You're not supposed to be praying in front of everyone. Got everyone looking at you to be seen of men. The Lord speaks of that, man. You just went inside because you already know what you came for. Can I, can I, I already know, I already know what you, you want to say. You a spirit. No, I'm, you yeah, I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit and a most high God. And, you not, and, you you. Not, and I already you know what you do. Last, you not, last weekend you, you was drunk. Not, and, and I, I seen the sister. And, I was, and, and guess you, what? You come over here saying you an Israelite. And you don't even do the other half, sister. This morning just know you is. He doesn't love me any less. You say that, man. He doesn't love me any less. He doesn't love me any less. He doesn't love me any less. He doesn't hate you. He does not He does not hate me. He doesn't love me any less. I'm still chosen. Regardless of what you think you're chosen. And I know I'm chosen. You think I so? I know I'm chosen. This is so. Chapter 5. I know I'm chosen. I know I'm the chosen. I know I'm 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 chosen. You see how I'm y'all chosen. I know I'm chosen. Y'all think I know I'm chosen. Y'all think if I was a part of New Spring? Y'all think if I was a part of New Spring? You think they do this to him? I know I'm chosen. I know I'm chosen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm chosen. I know I'm chosen. I know I'm chosen. You're a fool. 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 I know I'm chos
coworkers That's what I do know. He hates you. You gave him a little drunk as hell last weekend. And I seen you through the spirit. You didn't think I knew you through the spirit. He don't hate you. And thou hatest all workers of iniquity. The most I hate all workers of iniquity. And you ain't got no damn respect. Listen, if I was a part of New Spring, if I was a part of these white people church, you think that come up here and act like this? But because we niggas, she feel like she can act like this to our people. You don't hate me though. But look at how you act. Look at how you act. Look at how you act. But I'm supposed to be your sister. 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 You ain't none of his sister. But I'm supposed to be your sister. And who are you? You lost. Look at you. He lost. He more found than you'll ever be. He'll be found. Hey, get out of your elder's face. Look how disrespectful you are. Get out of your elder's face. Look at you. You the right one. I swear. I swear to God, you got the right one. What's up?
This first Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence. This is what I said. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. So I see a certain authority over that man. I see a certain authority over an elder. She's supposed to be in silence, man. All right. For Adam was first formed. Then he and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the first transgression. So these women have always been the weakest vessel. You see how they come back there? It's ridiculous. The woman has always been the weakest vessel. They've always been hard-headed. They always did whatever they want. That's why they always did that, man. Y'all disrespectful, man. I don't care who you are. You are children of my people. And I'm not going to let you do that to no elder man like that. It's ridiculous. A real bad spirit. All right. They possess. He can't but you said it. you said something you owe. And you know, most of speaks about being old. Alright, I have to continue to get you this knowledge because if you don't get the knowledge, you'll run away from it. Let me read the scripture and then you say something. Look, let me read the scripture. Alright, before you read talk, let me read the scripture. Alright, alright, Okay, now. It's okay. When John the Baptist came here, who taught him? What you mean? That's what I said. The lost that's the commandments. Who taught it? This book, the law study. No, of the I'm talking about who taught John the Baptist. What you mean, the, the book of the law? I'm going to say it like this. He was born to do a certain thing. Nobody taught him. No, but Nobody. he still, uh, he was uh, born to do that thing. Okay. But was the, how did he acquire the information? It was given to him by God. And how did, was it given to him by God? The guy just come down on him and tell him. No, no, no. How do you how do you acquire the information? Well, if you are born to do certain things, the knowledge automatically is helpful. Yeah, but you're not just gonna know it yeah, out of no reason. Yeah, you you gotta actually do it. Yeah. You gotta do the work. Alright, but listen to this. Alright, this is Sirach 42, verse 8. Be not ashamed to inform the unwise and foolish in the extreme age that contendeth with those that are young. Thus shall thou be truly learned and approved of all men living. So I'm not afraid to inform the uh, the old men, man. The, and, and the people who may think that was. Because they're, what does it say? The young will teach them the old. Yeah, but, but you, you have to understand this, brother. Is that out there and be able hmm? to inform these, these laws, statutes, commandments, or you'll go away from them. All right? Because the Lord, like I said, it's nothing to me. Just like you said with Moses, it's nothing to me that got me out on this corner speaking the word of God. It's the most high. I don't take no credit. It wasn't me that broke down and did the work, study, and all that. It was the Lord's will for me to do this. So it's all credit given to okay, the Lord. Okay, can I say this? I'm listening. If you are born to do something, then there's no other way you can, you can go. Uh, you, See, I will, I will right. tell you, you something. I will tell you something if you listen. I will go on dead. Black as a piece of coal, which means a blue band. That's what it means. Okay, you laugh. But then the doctor told my grandmama and my grandfather that wouldn't be no need. They said, you don't know what you're talking about. Before the doctor could hit the smoke with the ground, I was crying. So I was born in faith. You know why that happened? Because they had faith. Because you said something, you said, that if you're born to do something, you're born to do. But the Lord chooses the path for you. You know what I'm saying? This Proverbs 20, verse 24. All man's, go man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So like you said, man's goings is of the Lord. The Lord predestined these things. But you have to do the work. You, it, The way you will get increased in knowledge is from this book of the law. In a way, he the got Bible, that. My exactly. so, I know this 66. Like I said, it's not. I know it. And it, it, you, you, been, you got the apocryphal? Say what? You got the apocryphal? What is that? 
Uh, you missed the 14. You missed the 14, but. I don't know nothing about uh, what that, uh, what oh, you guys put. No, no, see, the pocket, but it's, it's in this. It's in this already. This is a 1611 King James Bible. In 1611, the so-called white man took 14 books out of this Bible. I don't know that. All right, so you have to have these 14 books because they're critical. All right, so these 14 books can all be in the 1611 King James Bible, or you can go buy you a pocket. It's separate, but it's still the same thing. All right, because there's an Old Testament and a New Testament, but there's nothing in the middle. All right, that is the middle, which is the so-called apocrypha. Which is part of the Greek Septuagint, where we get the part of the Bible. All right, that's needed for you. I'm getting that. There, there. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, brother. Much love, man. I love, I love my brother. Keep on. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna keep speaking on the road. They don't treat me. I know. I know what I'm saying. They don't have bills. Exactly. It's exactly. exactly. already in there. Exactly. And what you do is what it says. You can go, if they don't want to listen, that's just their problem, don't Exactly. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, all right? But he that endureth in the end shall be saved. So you know that white boy over there saying he's saved? You can't be saved to the end. What you saved from? You got to go to work tomorrow. You got to do all these things. He ain't saved from nothing. There ain't no reason to talk to them. Exactly. Because they white and they was made to be a child. <laughs> On the earth. Yes. And then after that, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Yakub could be what he had them, so he can't go put naked them. If you go to Daniel, read in Daniel where a high priest was killed. Yeah. And same with Yakub, that was the devil. Well, listen to this. And that goes into what you said. This is John 10 and 22. 27. John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my... Oh, no, we'll start at 26. But ye believe not because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, yeah. and I know them, and they follow me, Thanks. and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, because uh, neither shall the, any man pluck them out of my hand. Hey. So no matter what he do, he can talk all day. They can do whatever they want to. That's you the waste in your yeah, time. Yeah, you the the most high commands us to speak the truth to them, yeah, but so they know what's coming. Good. It's just You're right. Name, they plainly said. You're right. They have ill. But they can't hear. Right, right, they right. have eyes, but they can't see. Right. But what is this plan? Right. But what is a prophet? What? Someone that prophesizes things to come, right? Yeah. So we telling them things that are gonna come to their people. I'm not gonna it, tell them nothing. <laughs> so they ain't gonna <laughs> listen to me. Yeah, I feel you. I, like I said, man, and I love I'll you. Take my head and go ahead. I love you, brother. Take one of these. I know you probably you got a lot of that knowledge already, but take one of them. And you got. I know. I don't know if you got YouTube. Where's the YouTube channel? I, I, don't, wanna... I don't do none of it with uh, Nick Prime. Oh, well, just look up. It's all right there. A lot of information right there about who he is. Children is. Or maybe I give it to one of your... I don't know who I am. Give it to one of your grandchildren or something. Get them. They know too? Uh, <laughs> I, I like I like that brother, man. What do I have on? What? What kind of jeans I got? Uh, sandals. Right. <laughs> hey, I've been taught by hey, 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 one of my teachers. Hey, I would never wear a sneaker. Hey, wait, man. Hey. <laughs> brother. Shalom. All right. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Listen to this. Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. So you got to seek the Lord while he may be found, man. But it's coming a day where the prophets, the true prophets of the Lord, ain't going to be out here on the streets, man. Where you ain't going to be able to YouTube Hebrew Israelites. They're going to shut all that down. Brother's going to be. Sound like gonna come exactly. To and then they're going to be running up to us. They said they're going to cleave to us. They ain't going to be like, them brothers had the truth the whole time. They ain't going to try to come to us. But then we ain't going to be nowhere to be found. That said the Lord, man. And that's what. And it, that's what they don't understand. They believe in vain things. Like this man, he got his, he got butt hurt because of the Bible. Don't agree with what he's saying. He said, "Man, you, you believe in this? I understand that you got a higher understanding than me." No, man, I didn't get no understanding of myself. It's of the Lord. Just that brother right there, he know me. I used to, I used to be in the streets. I used to smoke weed. I used to, do, I used to care, could care less about read. Could care less. But the spirit of the Lord is sheep his voice, man. 
you to change your life over. It'll give you the extra boost. What you saying, brother? It's like uh, last time we that dude. Oh yeah, it's yeah. the guy that was stuttering. Oh no, no, that nigga was tripping, man. He got something wrong with his voice box or something. He like, I was like, bro, you know where is it? I thought he was doing hiccups. Yeah, he's not. Nah, I thought it was at first too. A lot of spirits. I thought it was. Yeah, he couldn't talk. He was like, 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 he was let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return into the Lord and he will have mercy upon them. So y'all got to forsake these ways of the world, man. Forsake everything that they got you doing, everything that's cool, everything that everyone look up to, everyone is out here being so-called that nigga. You got to stray from that, man, for the Lord, man. You got to put that behind you, man. All right? And humble yourselves before the Lord. It's verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, uh, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. So the Lord's thoughts is not this man's thoughts, man. It ain't gonna never be what you think. It's good to, oh, God love everyone. Oh, they all think that. But the Most High ain't like that, man. He never has been. All right? Oh, uh, let me get this. Let me get, um, get that scripture. Ezekiel 37 and 9. <clears throat> Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 9. I don't lost my voice screaming with this sister like, man. I'm tore up my voice, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Ridiculous. With my own people. That's, that's, that's the worst part. My own people, man. This is Ezekiel, chapter 37, and verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man. And say to the wind that said the Lord God come from the four winds O breath and breathe upon the slain that they may live so I'm breathing upon the slain because our people is in a dead state this sister was in a dead state they ain't talking about actually being killed that's talking about the state of mind they are in right? exactly so breathe upon the slain that they may live man the Lord's trying to get y'all to live that's what I'm doing it ain't nothing to me it's all of the Lord man and I try I try to get that brother breathing upon the slain but you don't understand, you're going to stay in New Spring, you're going to stay in these big mega churches, and you're going to die in them big mega churches, man. You're going to eat of the fruit of your own way, man. That said the Lord. They're going to do it, deal with that. All right. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. So that's what I'm trying to do to y'all brothers, man. I'm, I'm breathing in the breath of life. For not for me, but from the Lord, so y'all can live, man. I saw the guy walk by here. And he was car going on. And um, uh, he had a pink skinny pants. Ridiculous. Man. One of my brothers. Envy and the oppressor. That's all I need. Envy. Yeah, we still. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Still being oppressed. The most I say is envy, not by oppressor. Then that's what they do, man. So they get blonde hair in their hair. So they walk around like him with. Pants coming up to you. What is that, man? That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Exactly, man. Ezekiel 37, verse 10. Oh, uh, no, verse 11. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are, are dry, and the hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. So that's what I'm telling y'all. I'm prophesying to you. Not what I'm saying. He said, what's the difference? You said all men are liars. Hell yeah, all men are liars, man. We don't speak in front of the word of God. So he said, prophesy to them and say, uh, uh, the, the, uh, thus saith the Lord God. All right? Behold my people. I will open up your graves and cause you to come up out of your grave and bring you into the land of Israel. So the Most High is going to bring us out of the graves and bring us into the land of Israel, man. All right? Uh, hey, man. No, I'm doing hands, man. I'm doing hands. All right, man. All right, man. Like I said, you continue. Continue with Christianity. You know, continue with what you're doing because that's your life. But the truth is known to Jewish people. 
So continue what you're doing, you know, because that one's gonna make you feel good. You know, like it's gonna get to, it's gonna make you feel good. At the end of the trip. It's gonna be make you feel good to do those things. But death and destruction is coming for so-called Christianity because it's nowhere in the Bible. It's not the way of the Lord. It never has been a way. It's a made-up human being. Like it's going to be a time. All right. From there, not. It's going to be a time. All right. From there, not. It's going to be a time. All right. From there, not. It's going to be a time. All right. From there, not. It's going to be a time. All right. From there, not. It's going to be a time. All right. From there, not. It's going to be a time. All right. The Lord is telling you these things that Israel can only have this stuff is really? God. All these things that I spoke to you early, there's no, no, multiple no, scriptures about no. coming. <laughs> this is Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Oh, 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 oh. It says, Suppose ye that I come to sin to give peace on earth. Suppose ye that I come to sin peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Uh, I'll tell you so Christ that. says, Don't you think I come to sin peace on earth? I come to divide my people that lost sheep from the rest of the world. Right. So Christ didn't come for everyone to come together. Nah, He's not coming to send peace. He's coming to destroy death yeah. and destruction. Yeah, but right there, I think you're missing it, man. I I'm missing it. Yeah. I think so. I think yeah. what he means in that passage is not yeah, just trying to divide people yeah. necessarily. I think but what he's saying is divide. So he didn't yeah. hurt him to accept him and know him. Yeah. Yeah. And there's demons and the death and destruction. I mean, you can think what's going on. There's something that's happening as well. It's the same thing. There's not a lot of them there. It is getting a little crazy though, isn't it? It's getting a little, it's getting a little crazy with the man. are living with Jesus right now. Does that mean like because he came to divide people that they're saved even though they're not even accepting him or following him? Because it says he's divided people, right? That's what you're saying. Listen, you're not going to understand this. And it's the reason why you're going to... No, no, not gonna understand this. It's the reason why it's too deep. Now, we're in the right I can't hear your right? No, I'm gonna read it. This is Iraq 21 and 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord giveth the understanding thereof. And the perfection he's of the a, fear a, of the he's Lord a, he's is wisdom. So if you keep in the law of the Lord, you're going to get an understanding of the Bible. Do you keep the all 613 laws? I can't do it. Do you? It, yes. I don't like, I I'll do. try to keep you all of them. But do you? Yes. So do you have a sin today? What do you mean have I not seen them? Because you said you just keep the laws. Yes, I've kept all the laws today. So, yes. so you're going to tell me when those girls were coming over here earlier, you were cussing them out and, and going off on the floor and sending her. It's cussing a sin. What, what kind of verse where cussing is a sin? Bro, you know that book better than I do. I'm not saying cussing is a sin. Find one verse where cussing is a sin. Find one verse where, one verse where American words is used as cussing words. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. It says that, man. You, you lost, man. No, no. no, no. no if he would have, if you cried tears in the last couple of days, it would have been different. You wouldn't say yeah, it was like, what do you mean? I feel like you went at them a little bit. Yeah, I went at them because they're attacking the elders. Yeah, they're not supposed to use that. Okay. It's the scripture. No, I feel that. Like, supposed to stand up. It's just crazy. But I feel like your heart in that moment was the heart of you were angry. Which is fine. I get that. And it's the reason why I'm angry. Okay. So this is Ecclesiastes. This is Ecclesiastes seven verse seven. Listen to this. Surely oppression make a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. So oppression of my people, the death and destruction of my people, have made me mad. All right. When I see my people like that, they don't know the jewels of the Most High God. When I see them like that, and how they disrespect me, and putting their fingers in an elder's face. That I'm gonna get mad because that's that's a, that's a uh, that's an occurrence of nothing but oppression. Oppression makes yeah, that happen. Yeah, no, Our people like weren't doing that in Israel. Yeah, Our people weren't doing that in their homeland. Yeah. But so in that moment, that's what made you mad. Yeah. Like that's where your brain and your heart were. I was like, yes, when she when she attacked the enemy, because you know, in, in uh, Levitical days, you would have been put to death. There would have been no talk. You would have been put to death. So well, you haven't like lusted towards any girl back then? No. Look, look I have a wife at home that keeps all the law statutes in command. Why would I lust for any of these dots out here, man? Why? Because that's what they are. Hoes, whores, whores. Is that a better word for you? Whores. Yeah, no, that's fair, but it's not like the heart now. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on
Matthew. This is Matthew and, and chapter and 6, and verse 5. Yeah, I know. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets to be seen that, that they um that they may be seen of man. So y'all pray in the corners of the streets. Literally, y'all prayed on the corner of the street. We definitely did. We prayed over there, right? <laughs> I'm gonna read it again. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So the monster says you have your reward for doing that. Alright? Because the Lord specifically tells you not to do those things. Yeah. But what does the Lord say? Verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father would see it in secret, shall reward these offerings. So he's supposed to pray in secret. And when it's saying in the closet, it's not meaning actually getting in the closet and closing the door. It's meaning to pray in secret. Yeah, get away from everyone else and pray between you and the father because that's private between you and the father. So, but you just prayed on the corners of the street. Your prayer is not going to be healed. You don't even keep the law of the Lord. I've seen people be physically. You keep all the law. Listen to this. This is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. What? How you not get how you gonna turn that? He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, all 613 laws, even his prayer shall be an abomination. So what you just did over there didn't do a damn thing for that man. You said what? Didn't do anything. All right, man. Hey, he, we'll see who's right in the last day. We'll see who's speaking the real truth. We'll see. We'll see. No, it's part of the Father. Because this word is going to come to pass. We'll see if your Christian church, I mean, Autumn Jolly, New Spring Church with millions of people in it, we'll see if they're speaking the truth. And we'll see who the prophets of the Lord really were. We're going to see. All right. Hey, can, can, you look, the, can you read the verse one look, more time? No, brother, you ain't paid attention to nothing I said. You, know, you walked over there when I was read, speaking the word. The you verse? walked over there before. Can you read, you read, ain't listening all night, man. Read, I'm not pulling no scripture for you, man, because no, you haven't listened can you all just read the exact night. Same scripture you haven't. Can you read the exact, exact same one you just read about us praying? Look. Uh, he that turn Proverbs 28 9 He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law Even his prayer shall be an abomination No, I'm saying can you just read about the prayer in Matthew Matthew oh. 6 5 yeah. Matthew chapter 6 verse 5 Alright And when thou prayest Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are For they love to pray standing in the synagogues And in the corners of the streets That they may be seen of men Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So you have a reward, and your reward is death and destruction. Your reward is the most high not dealing with you. Because your praying is in the hypocrite's heart, man. You're playing like you're playing to be seen a man, man. Are you are you right? But listen, now? listen to this before you speak. Uh, verse 6. But thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So the Mosai says, pray to not when he says a closet, he's not talking about going into your ass closet. Right. He's saying get in the secret place to pray. Hey, I'm, I'm saying this because I love you, bro. Straight bro, up. Straight bro, up. Straight bro. Up. I love you more than you can ever think. No, can because I, I'm giving I, you the words of life right here. I, and you refusing to listen to it, man. Can I, can I, can I, you got your can own say, heart. Look, say, I'm listening, bro. I'm listening. Because I love you, bro. You're doing everything right now to to to, to be loud to people. You just what you just read in scripture is what you're doing right now. What? You say like you hey, said you got your, you record yourself, bro. You record, bro. Listen, you recording yourself. <laughs> what? What? Like, like what? what? I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Am I praying right now? No, I'm no, I'm. They, what? Y'all just, bro. Y'all winging it, man. No. Y'all throwing it. <laughs> y'all shooting from the hip, man. Why, I mean, what is you talking about, why, man? I mean, why? Do you, I mean, why are you loud? Why am I loud? Why, All right, why, you, why asked you, know, uh, hey, you asked a good question. Why am I loud? Hey, Reg, here's my Isaiah chapter fifty-eight. Hey, love you, Listen to this. I love you too. Cry aloud. No, be quiet. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So that's why I'm crying aloud. That's why I'm lifting up my voice like a trumpet. Because it's a time of death and destruction that's coming to you so-called Native Americans, Mexican Americans, and African Americans, man. Because your God shows the people according to the Bible. Hey, brother, I love you, brother. I love you more than you can see right now. I know you feel like I'm doing hate for you, but everything's coming from the Most High God and nothing from me. 
if the Lord is saying it, don't you think you need to examine yourself, man? It, the Lord is saying, I'm not saying nothing in my own mouth, man. I say in the words of the Lord because he's wanting you to wake up out of this America, man. He's wanting you to depart out of this world, man. This world is going to be destroyed. It's gonna be destroyed, man. Like I said, man. I know what type of I know what. Yeah, but I know what type of dude you are because I was that same type of dude. Man. Look, you know, you talking to the Most High because I'm bringing out the scriptures of the Lord. If you choose love to you, hear, bro. Love I you. love you. See you I really do. Hey, man. Dude, hey, bless you. Hey, hey, man. If you ever want to come check out New Spring, there's a place for you. No, no, never, I'm just saying, never, I'm just saying, never, man. I would never check out New Spring. And you need to get out of that, or you're going to die in New Spring. That's not true. Get out of it, man. I know you got some type of sign or whatever you want to. But do you know the devils have signs? Bro, listen, I'm not get uh, listen, bro. Hey, listen, brother. I, hey, I, it's a good place. I know it's hard to come out of what you've been doing. But if the Lord's telling you to come out of what you've been doing, what you think you should do? Bro, listen, I just got back from doing some church and stuff in England. All right, listen. To this. No, man, I'm uh, listen, call, man, no, bro, bro, no, listen, bro. I'm talking to you. Not doing the scripture. Talk to me. 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 Listen, man, I'm just saying. I'm about to leave. Look, once he once faith all yeah. I'm about to leave. So. <laughs> it's like it's not the gospel. Not the gospel, bro. Look at hey, hey, <laughs> He's just Ray, J, not Ray, the gospel. J, Ray J, Ray J, bro. This is listen. It's 11:49. Yeah, I'm gonna be out here way. I'm gonna be out here way longer than when you go. I'm gonna go to sleep, man. All right, I'm gonna be out here way longer than when you go. See you, bro. All right. This is uh, Revelations chapter 22 oh, and verse 14. AJ, what days are you out here, bro? Bless uh, every Friday, Sunday, and Saturday. All right. Bless our days. No, 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 no. They're good. This they're the, good, bro. This is the last page of the Bible. Bless our days to do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life. That they might enter into the thorough gates of the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and make up a lie. So you brothers love and make up lies, man. Because you don't keep the commandments. And he said they talk, they having a whole nother conversation. But you think of Pastor, uh, what's that pastor name? Uh, um, the, the dude that got caught for being drunk. What's y'all pastor name? If, if Perry was up here talking to y'all, y'all think y'all would just ignore me like that? But because y'all don't want to hear, y'all don't, don't want to hear nothing from yeah. a so-called nigga. Y'all don't want to hear nothing from me because y'all ain't no way in the world he got to. We gotta go to someone that got a big church and hey, mega millions of people. Ray J, and yeah. the Lord specifically hey, says, no, no, <laughs> "This is crazy, man." I'm addicted to the scriptures. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I say your prayer every morning when I wake up It's a blessing knowing I'm a child of Jacob I got a problem that I need to take care of